Hey, I'm Maria. And I'm Paul. And we've been traveling around in our self-built Ford Transit for two years now. And this is my dad, Roger. Hi there. And last summer he drove out to Oregon to go camping with us. He brought his truck camper along. But I think he had a pretty good time around our van because he went home and bought a van for himself to convert. So it's one year later and we're out in the beautiful Rocky Mountains of Colorado meeting up for his maiden voyage. We're excited to give you a tour. Well, welcome to Willowa the Van. Willowa named after my sled dog kennel for I did a rod and such. Uh, but uh, new phase in life and uh, plan on doing quite a bit of traveling and uh, figured I'd build this out. Excellent way to visit my daughter and her husband who are full-time van lifers. Uh, so this is my winter project. Started with a, a brand new uh, 2018 uh, transit van with the EcoBoost engine in it. Wonderful. So I have a, a cabinet shop at home. Uh, I used to build dog sleds uh, commercially. So I uh, just use it for uh, doing woodworking projects like this. So anyway, come on in. One thing I kind of decide, designed my build around was my uh, favorite chair. My uh, stressless uh, Italian leather recliner. I wanted to get that along. Oh, what a wonderful place to read a book. Had a, a topper easy lift system that um, lifted the topper and salvaged the, salvaged the um, screw actuators off of it. And so use that in here to elevate the bed when not in use. As you see, I have lots of space for hanging things. On this side here, this whole cabinet, that's all my uh, batteries, uh, four 100 amp hour gels. And uh, I got my rover control there. Got the inverter. On this side, I got my propane locker, which is easily accessible to um, get at my propane tank. And then there's my water system. For water system, I go with the uh, jerry can method. And so my uh, plumbing system here, kind of the, the features uh, that I've gone with are uh, a five gallon uh, gray water tank, but uh, I put an electronic valve on it on the uh, discharge and cut a hole through the bottom of the uh, bottom of the van and so that I can uh, discharge it in a responsible manner away from away from my campsite. At the top here we have the cutout switch for uh, charging the uh, solar battery system off of the uh, alternator of the uh, vehicle. I just went with a manual. Um, down here I got my um, electronic valves for uh, dumping the um, gray water and then down below there is the uh, intake for the uh, SPAR uh, heater. Uh, SPAR um, gasoline uh, heater furnace. Um, as you can see there's the outlet. It, it's behind these cabinets. I've allowed uh, plenty of ventilation for it. Isotherm. Uh, I like beer. <laughs> I got a big freezer compartment big enough to uh, put uh, sockeye salmon fillets in. Stove and, and uh, oven uh, all works great. Cooked a pizza in it the other night. This one that I got, this was it, Ru Ruvati. Um, has a built-in cutting board on top and um, seems to work real good. For my final flooring here, uh, of course had three-quarter inch plywood down first and then uh, for the final flooring I went with the uh, cork and put uh, lots of 
polyurethane coats on it. Uh, in the end, it seals up all the uh, cracks good. Swivel seat uh, adapter for the uh, front passenger seat here. And uh, then underneath here so that I can keep all my all my tools and the jack remains where the jack was uh, intended to be. The main uh, insulating system I went with was with the low E product and um, to use that product properly you need to allow at least an inch and a half airspace on either side and that should be confined airspace. Um, and I feel I've uh, done that uh, throughout this van and allowed me to take the low E sheets, which I think they're like eight feet wide, and stretch them. I started all the ways at the floor, and it's a one continuous piece all the ways around the van. Super insulating this uh, van, um, I plan to use it uh, in Minnesota winters, um, so I need, need for a good heat. Uh, retention that way and also being it's a darker colored van uh, concerned with um, too much heat built up in the summer from solar and I uh, felt the low E was the uh, best way to go to deal with both of those situations. So this is my idea of, uh, of a shower, camp shower. Um, I really didn't want to put a inline water heater in and uh, got to thinking you really don't need hot water for anything but bathing and uh, so I went with this got a aluminum stock pot here um, that I just fill up with water about uh, two and a half gallons two gallons and put it on the stove here heat it up with te temperature with your hand until it's right and then I just have that running through uh, two-way valves um, with the intake coming off of here and then we got the got the shower head here and just went with some hooks up in the ceiling like to keep things simple and uh, this is a dog swimming pool underneath here uh, they come in different sizes. This is what 32 inches and uh, folds up really nice. Makes for a decent shower. And uh, the advantages, of course, over doing it outside <laughs> is you can get it nice and warm in here, especially you close the windows when you're heating up all the water. You get up to 80 degrees in here or so and no wind. Uh, makes for a much more comfortable marine type shower a few of things from the back side here. I mentioned about my batteries. Got four 100 amp hour batteries in there. Got the uh, just a thousand watt uh, inverter. Um, put a cutout switch on my whole electrical system so I can shut shut everything down. Um, up on the roof, uh, got uh, three 100 watt uh, solar panels. Seems to be working fine. Um, I haven't gone below 70% yet on uh, charge. Another feature of my build, I didn't build this just for van lifing. plan on using it on my homesteader and uh, I do a lot of woodworking. Uh, take out the chair and, and this back stuff and I can carry like 4 by 8 uh, sheets of plywood standing on, on edge and I can carry uh, up to 12 foot lumber, I can carry a kayak, <laughs> can carry a, a solo canoe in just right down the aisle use it for many, many different purposes. Uh, 
Uh, so the nice thing about these van builds is how you can personalize them so much to what you want to individually want to use it for. Uh, yes, I want to use it a lot for camping, probably about half of the year. But uh, the other half of the year, I intend to be in my uh, main vehicle. I have a homestead uh, where I need to uh, always be building things and, and that. And so I plan on carrying lots of, you know, building materials and lumber and lawnmowers and snow blowers and all that. Um, by keeping things modular in my build, I can uh, pull, pull a lot of it out and get down to more just empty space. Um, plan on doing ice fishing in the winter with this and pulling the snowmobile behind. Um, I'm an avid mountain biker. And that's really what this is all about. Plan some big trips. Uh, spent a lot of time in Alaska living there and uh, hope to go back and spend the whole summer there next year. Uh, I'd really like to get up into the Brooks Range um, off of the Dalton Highway. Um, I've uh, done some dog mushing up there on the other side, so um, I'd like to see that and, uh, and of course play with them salmon. So hope you've enjoyed my, uh, my van tour. Thank you for watching.